Our number one big 70 degree and sunshine fan is the gal to my right, Regina on. She's just been begging for this kind of weather all month long. I mean, it was 60s in March. Let's get the 70s in April. And here we go right in front of us. Both days this weekend are going to be exceptional weather wise, and the winds have been slowly calming down even today, even more so for tomorrow. So Saturday, less wind. Sunday afternoon is that next opportunity for the wind to come back into play. Otherwise, for the most part, remaining dry out there. See a little bit of shaking on the camera as it's trying to look at the water at Riverfront Park in downtown Spokane. I mean, the falls are going to be or actually this is Coeur d'Alene, but nonetheless, the falls downtown here in Spokane are going to be raging this upcoming weekend. 68 right now and the winds only 9 to 10 miles per hour at the moment. Let's walk you through the weekend. Here's tomorrow's temperatures. 70s pretty much everywhere. It's going to be nice all across the board. And again, the less windy of the two days. As for Sunday, notice how it is a little bit cooler, especially in far north Idaho. We'll have a, a cold front move in from that direction from the northeast. So a bit of an odd direction, which is why we consider that a backdoor cold front. This push of cold air pretty much straight north to south across the northern plains of the U.S. Well, the tail end of that system is just going to edge right up towards the inland northwest. So I think some light sprinkles or light showers over north Idaho and maybe Spokane are possible in the afternoon hours, but it's going to be a lot more wind. And if we see any rain, it's going to be very short lived and not very much of it. That front does clear the area by Monday, which means it won't be quite as warm to start out next week. Here, I'll show you the winds on Saturday. It's pretty much calm. That's these blue shades or even the transparent contouring on the map. As for Sunday, Day. Notice how we start to see those red and purple shades back into play. Notice closely we get this northerly wind out in front of it, but then we got these northeasterly winds. This is representing where that cold front is going to come in from. From the northeast, it's going to move through the area. I think the strongest winds between about two to six o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday could see gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour, but then it goes right back to fairly calm conditions on Monday, just not quite as warm as what it was for the weekend. Here's our temperature trend for the next uh, week or so mid 70s both days for tomorrow, but then cooler to the low 60s for Monday. That drop of about 13 degrees is not insignificant, but it does stay above average temperature wise. So we are pretty much on the plus side of what is average for this time of year across the region. That's the trend through the late part of the month as well. We should stay above average temperature wise. Looks like we actually have a chance of some rain before the end of the month as well. As it stands right now, Spokane's on pace for its second driest April after our second driest March, but I have some reasonable chances kind of on the last few days of the month. Let's cross our fingers for that because we could use a little bit more rain for the region because those sprinkles on Sunday are not going to cut it because it's a pretty dry forecast overall and we have another 70 degree day next week on Wednesday as well. So plenty warm pretty much for the rest of the month. And Thomas, you know that's like music to my ears. You can look at me here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we have Hello. A new Hello. I know. Well, I was just I was going to say like it, we're so great to have Charlie back in the studio yeah, as well to give us this awesome Having camera one angle. One more person is so great. But um, what are you what are you planning to do this weekend? Yeah, I'm trying to get my friend to go on a hike for tomorrow and plus okay. the national parks have the free day yes. on Saturday, so, so that's one to definitely take advantage of. I'm right there with you. Hikes and just being outdoors is going to be Just the plan. soak up the sun. Make sure to bring the sunscreen yeah. though because we don't yes. want to have a burn this early in April, and right? The famous sunglasses yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Thomas, thank you. Well,